Ever wondered about the best places to visit in New York, the city that never sleeps? Well, buckle up because we're about to take you on a whirlwind tour of the Big Apple's finest spots. First up, we have Central Park, an impressive expanse of green amidst the concrete jungle. This vast oasis in the heart of Manhattan offers a multitude of experiences. Imagine renting a boat for a leisurely row on the lake, or perhaps strolling along the beautiful winding paths. And don't forget the Central Park Zoo, where you can get up close and personal with a variety of adorable creatures. Next, let's pay a visit to the iconic Statue of Liberty. This towering bronze figure stands as a beacon of hope and opportunity. You can hop on a ferry and head over to the island where she stands tall. From there, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of the city, making you feel like a true New Yorker. But hold on, we're not done yet. Our tour wouldn't be complete without a visit to Times Square, the beating heart of New York. Here, you'll be engulfed in a sea of bright billboards and flashing lights. It's like stepping into a fantasy world, and if you're lucky enough to be there on New Year's Eve, you'll witness the famous crystal ball drop. A truly unforgettable experience. Now let's pivot to the glitz and glamour of Fifth Avenue, renowned for its world-class shopping. This is where fashionistas flock to find the latest trends and window shoppers dream about the designer labels on display. And nestled among the high-end stores, you'll find the iconic New York Public Library, a testament to the city's rich intellectual scene. So, these are some of the best spots New York has to offer, each with its unique charm and excitement. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a history buff, a shopaholic, or simply an adventurer looking for a good time, the city that never sleeps has something for everyone. But, not every place in New York is a must-visit. Some can be quite the opposite. Let's start with the Financial District, the home of Wall Street. It's the beating heart of the global economy, but it's also one of the most frantic places on the planet. Here, you'll see men and women in sharp suits darting from one skyscraper to another, chasing the ever-elusive American dream. It's a fascinating sight, sure, but it's hardly the place to relax and take in the sights. You might just find yourself carried away in the rush, rather than enjoying your leisurely vacation. Next up is Penn Station, one of the busiest train stations in the city. It's a vital hub for commuters, but for the casual visitor, it can be downright overwhelming. Imagine this, a sea of people all rushing to catch their trains, the noise level rising with each passing second. It's a place that embodies the city's frenetic pace, but it's not exactly conducive to a stress-free holiday. If you must travel through Penn Station, brace yourself for the hustle and bustle, and make sure you've got plenty of time to spare. Finally, there's Coney Island. Now don't get me wrong, this amusement park in South Brooklyn can be a lot of fun. The vintage rides, the hot dogs, the beach. It's got all the makings of a great day out. But it's also often crammed with people, especially on sunny days. Plus, some of the attractions can seem a little outdated, and the charm wears off quickly if you're stuck in a long queue under the hot sun. So, while New York is undoubtedly a city of wonders, it's also a city of contrasts. It's got its share of tourist traps and stress-inducing spots just like any other metropolis. And while these places are iconic in their own right, they might not offer the kind of experience you're looking for. And those were some of the places in New York you might want to reconsider before visiting. So, there you have it, the best and worst of New York City. We explored the lush greenery of Central Park with its boat rides, hiking trails, and the charming Central Park Zoo. We gazed upon the iconic Statue of Liberty, the welcoming symbol of freedom and opportunity. We immersed ourselves in the dazzling lights of Times Square, the pulsating heart of the city. Yet we also ventured into the frantic financial district, the hub of Wall Street, and its hurried inhabitants. We navigated the crowded Penn Station, a bustling hub of transit, and we braved the throngs at Coney Island with its quirky and somewhat dated amusements. The contrast is stark, the tranquility of Central Park versus the hustle of the financial district, the vibrance of Times Square against the crush of Penn Station, the fun of Coney Island over its chaotic crowd. Whether you're drawn to the city's excitement or deterred by its chaos, New York always has something in store for everyone. So plan carefully and make your visit to the Big Apple a memorable one.